um, a bit of an update on where we are with the Ineos. So um, we've had the Grenadier in. Yeah. Um, yeah, we did the suspension on the Ineos Grenadier for a customer. He's obviously had that vehicle over at Fraser. He's been pushing it through his boundary and in the feedback we receive and he's loving it. Yeah, correct. So uh, obviously there's not just the suspension, there's the steering component on that which we're working on, which we'll work on that as we move forward. But obviously we've been given the opportunity now for yeah. this quartermaster. So yeah. obviously these are coming into Australia um, in through Ineos Australia. So we're working with those boys. And we've had a couple of meetings with them. Obviously Norworld have been involved with this build. So uh, we reached out and they reached out to us and we thought we'd we do some alpha suspension on the Ineos. Yeah, correct. And we've always teamed up with the guys at Norworld um, over the years with yep. their projects. And the need for the Quartermaster to be a GVM platform for trays, canopies, towing yeah. for the Australian market. And, and I think Ineos Australia, they obviously these are new vehicles into the country. So they wanted to demonstrate, I guess, Australian companies working together to bring the ultimate Ineos built for Australian conditions. Yeah, correct. And, and so what we've done on this particular vehicle is we fitted it with our uh, new design coil springs, uh, alpha suspension, the full yep. electronic setup. Yep, yep, so in cab adjustables so they can adjust the ride quality from inside the car. And not just adjustable, but they also yep. have active control. So it controls the car on G-Force. Uh, one of the feedback we had with the Grenadier where customers were having issues with um, the uh, stability in the vehicles regarding the yaw rate sensors and things like that where when they lifted the centre of gravity on the car, the car was obviously a little bit sensitive as are some of the GR yeah, Sports, yeah, like etc. Yeah. With the active control though, um, these particular cars have been exceptional in that space. Yeah, 100%. And we've, like, we drove the car obviously beforehand, it performed really well, but with the Alphas it just adds that a little bit element of control that I think that car just needed, especially with the Norworld set up on the back. Yeah, so uh, you know, our goal for this now is we, um, we're working with Ineos Australia to get our, uh, a quartermaster for ourselves. Yeah. Uh, that's in the pipeline now, and then we'll be working on a federal approval for GVM upgrades. The limitations of where we're going to take it will be yeah. working through. Based on the vehicle too, but should we show them what we're also working on? Yeah, well let's show you what else we're working on. So this, unfortunately this project wasn't quite ready for this vehicle, but the, you know, one of the, one of the things we see with these guys is the return to center. Obviously they've been designed a bit different and not what people are used to. Uh, so a traditional steering dampener is not going to work and whilst it may seem a little technical and on the high side, yeah. uh, the mounting of this thing will be a little bit better in, in proportion to where the OE one's mounted as well. So, uh, but just watch that space, this one's coming very yeah. close now. Not too far away. The best part about it, design manufactured here in Australia. So that's yeah. a, another bonus just to add to the alpha range. Um, but I think believe this vehicle is heading back to Melbourne, they're going to go down there take it, I think a couple of other Australian companies are going to jump on board and uh, do the rest of the fit out and then I think there's some big things planned for it. Yeah, and I think the, the idea of this project, I suppose, is to bring all the Australian companies together to bring this to market for the Australian demograph for what we use these cars for. So uh, watch this space. I reckon it's, it's pretty exciting. So yeah, definitely watch it. And um, keen, we're keen to see this thing built and, and ready to rock and roll in Australia. Yeah, I think on a, on a high side is we do have um, suspension yeah. coming for these vehicles in stock whilst the GVM will be a little bit far off. We can do 10% GVMs in Queensland on these vehicles with our suspension kits uh, prior to having any SSM approval. However, um, anyone looking for a suspension kit for uh, either the, the Quartermaster or the Grenadier, um, reach out to our office or one of our dealers.